Today, we're taking a critical look at how one of the most popular canines in America, the Boston Terrier, handles children, dogs, and other small pets in the home. From their ferocious ancestors to modern gentlemen, the breed is one of the most accepting of other children and small animals in the canine world, so let's dive into that a little bit more. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to you learning everything you could ever want to know about the incredible Boston Terrier, then how you can become a high-level canine leader that raises perfect Boston Terrier companions. So if you love the Boston Terrier as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future Boston Terrier video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll find out if the American gentleman is as polite as his nickname suggests when it comes to children, other dogs and other animals. Now getting right to it, it's always important to know what a breed was meant to do and what kind of stock they were developed from so we can get a better understanding of why they are the way that they are today. Now the Boston Terrier was developed from pit fighting dogs bred here in England near the end of the blood sports popularity and the widely accepted founder of the breed was a stocky dog named Judge. He was brought from Europe to Boston, Massachusetts after being sold to an American and the ferociousness needed to excel in pit fighting was quickly bred out of the line. Now today this stocky little canine is all cuddles and playful antics that provide excellent companionship and emotional support to even first time canine leaders. When it comes to children, everybody wants a dog that will be accepting of sticky fingers and the chaos of playtime. The affectionate Boston, nicknamed the American Gentleman, is just that, an absolute little gentleman. This playful canine is superb with children of all ages and will entertain them with their silly antics before settling in for a good nap right alongside the children. So Boston Terriers bond evenly with the whole family but will be especially fond whoever plays or snuggles with them the most and this can often be the children in the home. They may be slightly possessive of their favourite person if the behaviour isn't corrected right away but they will quickly accept other children and want to be a part of the fun and games wherever they are and whoever they're with. Their clownish antics usually delight children and their intelligence makes them really easy to train, especially by children, so they can be a part of the fun without them getting in the way or getting underfoot. The low reactivity levels and guarding instincts of Bostons also keeps them from getting too rough or overly excited when they meet a new child, even if the child is nervous around dogs. The breed excels at making them comfortable with their low energy and that beautiful soft personality. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Now the mild-mannered little Boston Terrier even does well with small animals despite what the terrier part of its name might suggest. They aren't considered a terrier anymore by most standards but like all canines have a prey drive with an instinct to chase smaller animals that suddenly want to move or run away. You'll want to supervise them closely when they are young and get a feel for how they react to the movements of other small animals. Now, chances are if you're dealing with a cat, for example, that will stand up for herself without being a bully, then the Boston will play rather than chase it. Now, smaller animals like rats, ferrets or hamsters won't fare so well, but that's true with almost every canine. In general, the Boston does well with other animals, including strange ones, when they are properly socialised and see you as their leader in every situation, as they will look up to you for guidance and direction on how to respond, and provided you've put in the right amount of work up front, it makes dealing with these situations a treat. 
So when it comes to other children and small animals, the Boston does a wonderful job living up to his nickname of the American Gentleman. Of course, a lot of socialization early on and throughout their lives is critical like all breeds. And the Boston is incredibly friendly and loves to play with anyone or anything. So they make a great choice for everyone from young families all the way up to great, great grandparents. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. We've got two new Boston Terrier videos coming to this channel every single week. And by subscribing and turning on the bell, it means you'll never miss a future episode as I can't wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Boston Terrier Show.